everyone. I am continuing my marathon because that is uh, something I promised I, I will do similar to tag but it's just my review of all my available products um, or groups of products by brand so I started with lipsticks because I probably have lipsticks as many as I have eyeshadows I don't know maybe maybe a bit more not as many as nail polishes uh, but anyway um, so I have done Charlotte Tilbury two weeks ago last week I've done Tom Ford uh, and I'm doing um, this week I'm doing Dior and Dior is my probably still favorite brand of all. Um, in many ways, uh, they have all around products for pretty much everything, skincare and makeup, uh, incredibly beautiful and perfumes, perfumes as well. Though I do love Tom Ford and Chanel and Charlotte Tilbury as well, most, most of the products. So, um, I just want to show you what I have and I'll talk about formula a little bit and have a couple of words about these oils. Oils are incredibly interesting product and they only started doing them not long ago. And uh, I have two and one is nearly finished. It's absolutely beautiful, uh, beautiful um, product for lips. So let me start with my favorite of all times Pro, um, lipstick which is on me now uh, it's my favorite of all all lipsticks ever uh, it's called Hazard and it's number 263 which Dior discontinued for the life of mine I don't understand why I don't know if they listen I did right and they sell this they, they used to sell it very well I remember buying it in in Debenhams when Debenhams was still in like store and online and it just doesn't exist anymore. I don't know what, why, and for, you know, for what reason. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's satin uh, formula, which is still, they're still doing it. It's basically mixing of colors, right? So I really don't know why they have. But anyway, there's no point going on about it. I, this is my last lipsticks or last lipstick of Hazard. And this is swatch on my lips it's getting slightly darker now it's five o'clock i have some additional daylight but that is pretty much how it looks in the daylight so this is number 263 hazard satin formula the next one is called pink sakura and i think they have released it together with uh, straight after they released new formula shadows which i think it was now three years ago and i bought all of their um with time, probably one or two I have left um, out. Because, uh, Grand Ball I left because I've got so very similar. And um, yeah, so this pink Sakura was released um, at the same time as Sakura um, eyeshadows, but eyeshadows much cooler. It's more of a pinkier, yeah, cooler, cooler undertone. But this this lipstick is actually lovely. It really is nice. It's very universal. Uh, or versatile, I should say, because it's it it, was, it would be suitable for cool, for daily, for any kind of makeup, and it's neither cool. It's very natural. It's neither cool or warm. So that is pink sakura. It looks very nude, doesn't it? Um, it's kind of, it's probably a little bit more pinky than actually it looks. Uh, but it's, it's. I was surprised that they call the same, they called pink sakura, something which isn't exactly pink sakura and it doesn't really go with these shadows or doesn't really match in terms of color, color um, tone. So yeah, I was a little bit surprised with that sort of name for that particular tone. Never mind, moving on. So my next one, is New World, which I like very much actually. Um, it's a satin formula as well as two previous ones. Uh, New World is a warmer pink. It's 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 beautiful pink. Uh, I think similar to that. No, you see, pink sucker is cooler actually. I like this one. This one is quite classic. It's a beautiful classic. So this is New World. Let me get this light off. I wonder if I have enough light. 
outside. Probably not anymore. Hang on a minute. It actually doesn't doesn't look too bad. That's. Let me stay with this light for now. It's still it's still not too bad. It's five o'clock, but it's getting there. It's dusk. Uh, but the color looks more more right. The next one is OZ, which is quite. It's a signature. Uh, I was told it's signature um, color. It's very pink. It's cool pink. And it looks like that. I'm not going to talk much. I'm going to try to get through the daylight. So I, I'm not um, risking it. So that's OZ number 277. Nude. Um, nude look. Which is the lipstick. I think it was released after all these shadows. Um, including Sakura. Uh, it was uh, like a classic it's a classic nude really really pleasant and when i say pleasant i mean the not just the color but the formula as well formula dual formula i'm going to look at more of those because the matte lipsticks now are so much better than they used to be years ago and uh, i didn't buy them for a long time but um uh, i thought it's only charlotte tilbury i can wear matte lipstick because it's uh, it's matte revolution uh, which is absolutely beautiful. This is also equally good. It's um, quite buttery but velvety. It's it's so beautiful. It sits very comfortably on your lips. You don't question. There is no protest. There is no... You don't really feel it at all, which is what I want. So that's new look, number 100. I have two miniature lipsticks. They are both uh, started both of them. They were all present, uh, both of them were present in um, uh, purchases, I guess. New look. The other one is Actress, is back to satin formulas. Uh, Actress is one of the brighter ones, uh, which I don't know why I bought it, but I felt brave. And I think consultant was quite persuasive. She said it's very good on me. I don't really wear these colors, but I think it's nice to have one for maybe for going out. So this is Actress 0 to 8. The next one, I should have done it earlier actually, done the same mistake in Russian video. So the next one is uh, quite pale, quite summery, very beautiful. Uh, I tried it first time today. I bought it last year, I think. Uh, this is number 219, Rose Montaigne. Rose Montaigne, number 219, also satin formula. There is one which I'm going to surprise you with, really bright. I bought it, I bought it before pandemic. I bought it when Debenhams was still open because I bought it in Debenhams. And I remember the sale consultant insisted that I buy that because she said it's just so good on you. Uh, my husband didn't particularly like it very much, but um, it's very brave color. Um, I would probably wear it with a bright summer dress. I don't know. This one is called Euphoric Pink. Actually very nice. I like it now. I might come downstairs and give my husband a heart attack. I wouldn't, but yeah. It is Euphoric Pink. It's very euphoric color. It really is bright. I'm not sure about... Pink, is it? If it's pink, it's more of a. Hmm. It's nice. It's matte formula as well. So, this is Euphoric Pink number 652. So, now I'm going to move to um, two very soft lipsticks. They are very um, creamy, buttery, and very shiny. Uh, they are Dior Addict. Though I like, I like how they sit, they don't last long at all. So, these are uh, Dior Addict. Pink Canage. Yeah, that's one of the new ones. You know, they issued, they've, they've done some, they sell those and then you can buy this separately. Uh, I went for this color, of course. It's very, very, very soft. It's actually wrong because I need to clean my, my uh, lips properly because it's still, there is still residue of the uh, previous matte one, which is very bright. That's a bit better. So this is called Pink Canage and it is, it's a good number actually. 
This one hasn't got number for some reason. Just pink cannage. Very pinky. Very. Um, how many of these colors I've got? How many lipsticks? So that that color I got. Twenty. Pink cannage. The other one, which is from the same um, same family, is also Dior Addict. And this one is called um, Cherish Star, number 384. 384, this one has got a number. So now I have to put the light on. I think it's getting much darker now. Cherish Star. I use it quite a lot. I quite liked it when I bought it. It's very creamy, very shiny, very... But it's got a tiny bit of something like plum undertone. Very calm color. Okay, that comes in this sort of packaging. Now, moving to lip glow. Two lipsticks. They're more like pressed um, gloss, hard gloss. Um, they're very, very shiny, very glittery. So one of them is called written it down here see so this one is uh, both of them called uh, Dior Addict um, Lip Glow and uh, one of them is called Hollow Rose Gold my lips hurt because of the wiping constant and this is worth showing in this light actual shine let me bring the light closer a little bit it's got something in the packaging. It has a little holographic, like little glittery, but it's gold. I don't know if you see. Yeah, it's there. And it's the same throughout actual lipstick. You can hopefully see that. There you go. Number 11. And the other one is called Daisy. I'm not sure why I bought it. I think I didn't realize that it's going to look that I bought it online, certainly. Um, must be during pandemic. It looked very pretty nude rose. However, it's more intense than I expected. It's more of a, it's got a little bit of like plum undertone. Still very pleasant. It's more, there is more plum than Daisy. So yeah, that's that's a color. You see, it looks quite innocent, doesn't it? But it's it actually on on my lips. It looks, I think, more intense. But anyway, so that's something for more more for winter, I think. And a couple of words about the oils. Oils are incredibly beautiful products. Uh, they are nourishing. They moisturizing. They give this beautiful. Not glow, but um, healthy look, I would say. Uh, you can use them on their own or on the top of your lipsticks. Or I use it on its own. It's got tint. So this one is uh, called Pink. I, it costs £30 on Dior website. And I managed to get this on my Origins for 21 So that's coming. And uh, yeah, this one is just called Lip Glow Oil. Number one, this one is number one, and I also got cherry. They all in uh, it's a cherry oil uh, infused, and this one is color called cherry, which is more just a bit more intense. It's not, it's nothing, it's not too bright. I can actually smell cherry, interesting. I like that. Spatula is it called? So this one is a little bit more intense, but it's actually um, in the daylight. Let me see if I have any light left. If you see me at all. Uh, mm. It doesn't look that offensive, does it? It's very pleasant. So there we go, my dears. I think I'm finished now and the light is gone. I have done so much today, again, work in the garden, and it was endless, endless. And I had a nice long bath with oil, aromatherapy oil, 
for over an hour. Then I had my hair mask and then I had my hair done and I did my makeup. By the time I finished, it was four o'clock. So yeah, and um, apologies for a little bit of a light issue there. But I think you have a good idea now of the colors. Uh, in the soft daylight, it, it did look um, nice actually. Um, I represented the color correctly. So um, that's all, that's all absolutely I'm happy with. All right, my dears, I hope you have a good week ahead of you and we see each other very, very soon. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Uh, I actually plan to do all my products available um, review in a way that I do lipsticks, but by brand. And then when I go through all the lipsticks, which I still have plenty, uh, I will do... Um, I will do all eyeshadows by Brandt as well, and then we see what we do next. Okay, you have a lovely week, and I see you very soon. Bye-bye.